With mixed results to finish their season, there is only one game remaining in the league. Palace are out of the Champions League race, but there is still a chance for Europe. A massive rivalry is growing with Sutton United, and the FA Cup final is Fabio's only chance to get Palace into Europe next season. Sutton stands in the way. Can Palace finally get the victory after being smashed twice in the league by Sutton this season? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rejected Regen Rebuild here with Crystal Palace. We've fallen off here in the second half of the season. There's one game remaining in the league and uh, the highest we can finish is sixth. And that all depends if Newcastle United uh, lose to Tottenham. They are playing away. We can have our fingers crossed, but I don't think sixth is going to do anything for us. But we do have the FA Cup final. It is against Sutton. So uh, something to look forward to there. If we can get through that one, I guess we scrape into the Europa League again. But um, yeah, let's just finish this season off. We've got a lot to take care of. We need to dissect this squad, see what's gone wrong here in the second half of the season and uh, set ourselves up for season number two. So let's jump into it. Final game of the season, it's Nottingham Forest. Uh, 14th place at the moment, four and a half star team. I mean, there's some solid players floating about there, but. Hopefully we can get this win and maybe just maybe we'll finish in six, but the board's not going to be happy with that. So uh, we'll have to address that later on. All right, the final game, it is at Selhurst Park. And uh, will this be the team that we take into next season? We'll have to wait and see, but let's get through this one and see if we can get those points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's finish off this season. JJ Bronson's had an absolute belter, but uh, it hasn't been enough because our defense has been pretty poor. Well, it's Nottingham Forest 1, Crystal Palace, fuck all. And uh, Moise Kane gets the finish. And it looks like we've got a couple of issues to deal with here. Molina looks like he's picked up a knock. Sterling Brown's picked up a knock. Shumba, well, he might have taken a knock to the head because he didn't see anything. And it is 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. And Jay Bronson. And the ball. And Ponsa. Back for JJ. That's what he wants. Rubio, Thapa, and Ponsa. Oh, that's a finish. That's a captain's finish. 1-1. One, one. Tommy and Ponsa hopefully gets a little bit of dynamic potential because I think he's gross finished already. And that is his 10th goal of the campaign. And not a bad one from the skipper to get us back in the game at 1-1. One, one. Thapa just put it inside. Thapa's one that I'm a... Not 100% sure on. He hasn't provided enough this season from that midfield role. 1-1. One, one. Oh, for fuck's sake! 2-1 Nottingham Forest. Unbelievable control. Oh. This team, from how we started the season, absolutely on fire to absolute bottle jobs. It's 2-1. Nottingham Forest. Well, there is half time. We are 2-1 down. Bronson. Bronson. Bryce Bolwanga sees his opening. Bryce Bolwanga! 2-2. Back in the game is 23rd of the season. Well, if we can get him for a full uh, season, he might have a lot more of an impact. It does mean that Dat Fong and Sanderson are reduced events duties. Uh, there's no harm in having that hanging about. If Bronson and Bowanga get firing. This team going forward, unstoppable. Defensively, that's another story. 2-2. Tapper heads it down. Sterling Brown. Tapper. Ponsa. Back for Sterling Brown. Oh, that's a finish. 3-2 Palace. Sterling Brown. Gets it for his fifth of the season. Oh, this is 
standing on one leg at the moment. We probably do need to get him off the pitch. But we'll, we'll take that. We've got the lead. 3 2. Now let's get these injuries sorted out. And Ponce is out of legs as well. So Alvarez checks in. All right, let's go. Eight minutes to go. We'll make a couple more substitutions. Frank Allen's going to check in, which could possibly be his final game for Palace. And requested a, a transfer away. Didn't eventuate in the summer, but you get a feeling that it will happen here in the next window. And that form checking in for Boanga. Well, it's a late corner. And then they've sent up the goalkeeper. Alves knocks it down. Come on, just defend, lads. Blow the whistle, ref. Back stick, Chong there. And Alvarez goes long. We get a victory. 3 2 on the final day of the season. Not sure what happened in the Newcastle Tottenham fixture. But uh, probably still haven't finished where we thought we would. All right, Nottingham Forest with the possession. We had eight shots to four. One save for McLean. All right, and Ponta gets an 8.8 .8 with a goal and an assist. Boanga 7.5. Thapper and Bronson assist. Brown with a goal as well. And, uh, and McLean gets a 5.4. Right, Sterling Brown with a bruised elbow out for five days and a bruised elbow for Molinar as well. Five days. Hopefully they're back and fit for this FA Cup final. Player of the season, JJ Bronson. I mean, he was absolutely tremendous. And uh, he's got himself a player of the season. So uh, a trophy at least for JJ Bronson. Well done, lad. He's had a very, very big campaign. But this couldn't drag us over the line. But well done, JJ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck me. Look at this team. The FA Cup final. It's a five-star squad all in the 90s. I know Potter's a 95. I think he's the highest rated. But um, yeah, I think Swanee's at a 94 now. This, this team is quite stupid. 4-3-3 holding uh, with counter-attack football. Right then, here we go. This is our last chance to uh, play in Europe next season. But we've got to take down Sutton United in the FA Cup final. We're at Wembley. sonkan has been checked in for Thapa to start here. He's a little bit better defensively. And uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us because Sutton have slapped us twice this season. But what can we do here? Can we show up on the big stage? Let's have a red hot crack. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Wembley FA Cup final. A chance at silverware for Palace, but we've got to get over Sutton. Potter. To Kurbanov. To Potter, not offside. Here's Coleman. Good block from Shumba. Oh, yes, Chong. Put in the big challenge. JJ Brunson has an opening here against Kodai. Go on, JJ. JJ Brunson streams into the box. Has to beat Swan. He does. It's 1 0 Palace. Fucking let's go. 59 goals for the season for JJ Bronson. We've got the lead here at Wembley against Sutton. We're only nine minutes in. It's going to be a long day at the office, but JJ Bronson just showcasing that he's got the speed to get it done. Beat Swan. And it's 1 0 to Palace. Roman in the box. Finds Potter. He sees an opening, you know, he's going to pull the trigger. Good save from McLean. Molina just needs to get rid, he does. Wanga plays it forward, and Ponce gets it on here. There's JJ Bronson. Wanga went too early inside, and Ponce. Sterling Brown. Molina has to retreat, brings it back. Sterling Brown finds JJ Bronson. Lays it off for Wanga, lays it off for Chong. Good save, and Ponce take it out, referee! Did you not see this? Taylor Potter getting down the wing. Half an hour gone. With weather the storm. Shumba lays it off. It's Stoyanovic. Pushes inside. Come on, Shumba. Here's Koeman. 1-1. One, one. Koeman the Barbarian gets the finish. And Sutton United are back into this game. Shumba, that was terrible. It's absolutely turned by Stoyanovic and Tolentino, you've got to mark closer. Oh, I'm going to keep them out for long. 1-1. One, one. Oh, good save from McLean, but it's a corner for Sutton. He's starting to come again. Nice ball wang up, flicks this one out. MJ Bronson 
Maybe he can sprint on. Oh, they've given him an avenue. JJ, go on, son. Looks inside, has to finish. Fucking let's go. 60 for the season. JJ Bronson, he wants a trophy. 2-1, Premier League player of the season. He's showing why. Brilliant run, brilliant finish. The lad's got pace for days. And he just hung Stojanovic out to dry there. Settled himself and it's a big finish. 2-1 Palace. Let's go. Sterling Brown. The lad's got some wheels as well. Jake Hardy trying to run with him, but uh, just trying to close the angles. Sterling Brown. That's back. Brings it inside. Chong. Finds Bolanga. Oh, good save from Swan. There is half time. Jesus. Relentless. 2 1 Palace. Oh, no. Coleman has an opening. Caught up. Shumba. Clutch. Bronson. Heads it down. There's Chong. Inside. JJ Bronson. And Ponsa. Lays it off. Bolanga. Gets the overlap run. There's Molina into the box. Oh, Jackson too good. Cracking from Rubio. Get stuck in, lads. There's Chong. Throw him in Yaglo. Inside, Bolanga, quick touch on. And Ponsa finds Jade. No, oh, still in ground it was. Great save from Swan. Good pressure here from Palace. Shumba. Rubio. Sterling Brown runs into a brick wall. No free kick. JJ Bronson takes it on. JJ Bronson works one. And 22 minutes to go here. Only a 2 1 lead. Kerbinol checked out. Dufresne checked in. Santos Dufresne out wide. This is dangerous. Very dangerous. And on Shumba. Hardy. Coleman. Santos. Zachariasen. Oh, great save, McLean! Good block. Santosh moves inside. Has to find the opening. Shumba tries to clear it. There's Potter. Fucking hell, lads! 2-2. Two -two. It's Taylor fucking Potter. And the wizard himself gets the finish. Just the ball was stuck in our feet. We couldn't get rid of it. Woven there, just bubbles and blocks. And Potter isn't going to miss that kind of opportunity. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, boys. Well, there is the full-time whistle. Extra time. All right, here we go. Who's going to come out on top in this one? Protecting Cadlitz, protecting Jakobsen. They've made changes. They're still rolling with the original lineup. There's Taylor Potter. He's got Molina for dead. Lays it inside. Oh, McLean called into action. Now, Cinemax just do not cover crosses. He's going to have to go wide here against Jackson. Looks back inside. JJ Bronson finds the opening. Andre Eon. Fuck, he's quick. And there is the first. Done. Still 2-2. Two -two. Right, we make a couple of changes. Dap Fong's checked in. Adil has checked in. And Thapa has checked in as well. We need to find a way through here. And Ponsa to Chong. JJ Bronson gets the touch. Not wide. There's a deal. He had a lot of minutes this season. Thapa. There's Chong. Oh, what to say? Look from Ponsa. Got stuck in. That Fong finds. JJ Bronson, he's into the box. He's worked Swan. Oh, it's nearly bobbled. We don't want penalties. I don't think we stand a chance. Molotov got checked in. Valentino finds a deal. Has to push forward now, boys. Oh, that is poor. Now we're exposed. Molotov's quick. Thumper's trying hard to go with him. Good body work. Valentino, that Fong. And Ponsa 
lays it through. There's JJ Bronson. Let's fucking go, Bronson. Finish. Yes! Get in. 3-2 Palace. Hat-trick for Bronson. 61 for this season. And we might have just got the cup. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if we can do anything, it's beat Sutton in the cup. Lovely ball through. JJ Bronson settles himself. And Swan is beaten. And it's 3 2 to Crystal Palace. All right, let's get defensive. Ultra defensive. Drop back. And just try and wrestle possession back here. Injury time. Come on, boys. Don't let him through. Molotov. Last chance here for Sutton. Deep in the box. Cadlet. McLean. FA Cup winners. Oh, we'll take that. 3 2. Sutton beaten. Yes, lads. Piece of silverware. Basically on the back of JJ Bronson, like we have been all season. But the rejects come through. And we finally beat Sutton United in a fixture on the big stage. We did get slapped twice this season in the league. But uh, maybe a sign of things to come. This group can build on this. Oh, silverware, things you love to see. And Ponta is gonna get to lift the trophy. Jeez, we'll take this in, because uh, it's been few and far between here. Knocked out of the Europa League, knocked out of the Carabao Cup, failing in the league. This might have just secured us some European football for next season. And now we need to take a real hard look at this squad. What can we build on to increase? Definitely our defence. Is McLean the man to go forward? I don't know if a lot of it's been... I mean, he's been poor on occasion, but some of it's just been piss poor defending as well that's left him quite exposed. Oh, well, what can you say? If they cut, it's a trophy. Fabio loves a trophy. Here you go, Ponsa. Lift that bad boy up. Need some growth out of him. I mean, at an 83, he definitely feels like he could get some more growth. A lot of assists this season, setting up JJ Bronson left, right, and centre. Mate, you can tell McLean is an absolute pisshead at the end of the season. He'd be that guy that just already has the beer on fucking on ice, ready to go. Right. Well done, Knights. Champions. FA Cup. Well, Sutton with the possession. We had 12 shots to nine. Seven saves for Swan, five saves for McLean. And definitely man of the match performance from Bronson, a 9.8 with a hat trick. And Ponta and Buanga with assists. Um, yeah, okay. Not a bad day. McLean gets a 6.5. Right then, let's take a look at the Youth Academy. The new reports are in. And uh, it's probably time to promote some of these lads so that we can look to uh, loan them out or whether we utilise their services next season. Abdul Amin from Bangladesh up to a 66, 74 to 92 rated central defensive midfielder. Four to five play styles. Looks pretty solid. Let's get him a senior contract. Nahim Ali from Bangladesh, 57 rated, 91 to 94 potential. Uh, definitely one that you could look to loan out, possibly with that kind of potential. So uh, we will give him a senior call-up. Daniel Contreras, 73-rated centre midfielder. Definitely something we can use, 86-94. to 94. Only the one play style, possibly, but uh, yeah, let's promote him. Felix Luna at a 63, 82-88. Probably not what we're looking for, but uh, we might promote and just loan him out, see what happens. Samuel Nieto from El Salvador, a central attacking midfielder, 61 rated, 89 to 94 potential, two to five play styles. Yep, let's promote him. Ivan Mercado uh, from Argentina, 71 rated central attacking midfielder, 84 to 94 potential, 90 acceleration. Whew, okay, promote. Uh, Sol Riviero, 70 rated central attacking midfielder, 80 to 94 
81 to 94 potential, should I say, but he's only 15. And from Qatar, we find Rafi Amin, a 65 rated right midfielder, uh, 74 to 94 potential, three to six play styles. Not using a right mid. We'll see what we can transition to as he's only 15. All right, let's take a look. It's JJ Bronson with a golden boot, 49 goals in the Premier League. Uh, that's pretty decent. Coleman with the 26. Uh, who else is on here? Boanga with 16, which is a pretty good return considering how long he was out injured. Santosh with 15 for Sutton. Potter with 14. And that is the list. Assist-wise, and Ponce, 31 assists. That's huge. Potter had 13. Uh, Sun Ken chipping in with 9. Santosh with 8. Uh, what else have we got? Boanga, Brown, Bronson, all with 7. And Thampa with 6. Clean sheets. Swanee's got the golden glove with nine. Um, we definitely didn't have that many. Three for McLean. And sits in 20th position. Vanilla for Burnley had five. Someone that we can have a look at. Malinowski as well. A former Sutton keeper with five for Everton. So uh, there are options. I don't know. I think McLean can do something. But he's going to need a, a defensive wall to help him out. Right then, let's get into this squad report and have a real in-depth look at this squad. Riley McLean at an 88. I mean, surely, surely that was uh, the defense that really, I mean, he did have issues, but that was probably purely on form. And when you're letting goals, you get bad form. But uh, what's he got here? 50 appearances, seven clean sheets all season. And... Um, yeah, just the rating wasn't quite there, although we got a 7.12 in the FA Cup fixtures. Um, I just don't know if he's replaceable. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out. He's still got some growth in him. Fraga out on loan. He's up to a 78, uh, up 6. And Gabriel Rivas, the 16-year-old, up 3 to a 71. So um, Fraga's out for a while, but Rivas will be back soon. Left backs, Adil, not happy with his contract. Up four, 79 overall, potential to be special. So we could go past Molina. I think Molina is just about finished growing. Let's have a look stats-wise, uh, the 45 appearances. But yeah, development, Molina's finished at the moment. But that doesn't mean that the dynamic potential won't kick in. Um, he's been okay. Like, his, his rating says that he's been serviceable. It might just be the formation that we're playing where the left back and the right back is just push way up and leave us completely exposed at the back. So, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Obviously, Cal Warren is someone that we want to look at, but I don't think we'll have the funds to bring in the 90-odd rated uh, left back at this stage. Uh, Novak out on loan up 7 to a 72, so that's some good growth. Shumba is an 85 um, what's he got? 40 appearances, one goal. Only the four clean sheets. Needs to do better. Uh, Allen, well, he submitted a transfer request a long time ago. Um, five goals, one assist. He's good, but he wants to go, so he's probably going to move on. Seldana, potential to be special. I don't know if this lad needs a loan spell or something. Um, there's just something that doesn't feel right. Only 72 defensive awareness, so that needs some growth, but... Could be good in the future. Just hasn't shown enough. <sighs> Tolentino as well. Potential to be special. Up 5 to an 84. Needs to show a little bit more for my liking. Uh, what's his defensive awareness at? It's at 80, so it's getting there, but it needs to be higher. And uh, Vanderwalt, potential to be special as well. Up 2 to a 78. So um, we'll get some more games into him, that's for sure. He's got the pace. 71 defensive awareness. Could be good. Morales out on loan, up four to a 70. Aminyaglo up five to an 81. Can't tackle to save his life, unfortunately. Um, and looks like he's just about finished growing. 83 defensive awareness. Yeah, I don't know what we do at right back. Yusu potential to be special, but didn't get much growth this season and really didn't get much game time. Maybe a loan deal. Uh, Elba's an exciting prospect, up four to a 78. And... Yeah, he didn't really show a lot either, so he might need to go. Fraser up 3 to a 73 on loan. Shane Wilson down 1 to a 78. Massive injury, but he is back, so he'll be fit for the preseason. But uh, at a 78, he's, he's, yeah, he's dropped off the perch a little bit. 
Thomas can probably go. He just sort of filled in and only showing great potential. Rubio up three to a 78. Has that something special? Yeah, it's probably pace or flair. Um, defensive awareness, 85. Yeah, he's got flair and relentless. So, I mean, a little bit more growth in him. That'd be nice. I mean, we just brought in an exciting prospect up one to a 66. What's he got in his locker? Holy play style hell. Dead ball, incisive pass, block, anticipate, and press proven. All right, that lad's getting a loan. Uh, and Naeem Adil, we don't know what his potential is just yet. Only the one play style, press proven. Uh, yeah, he's going to need a lot of work. Sun Ken, um, I kind of want to move him into the ones again. I really enjoy it when he's on the pitch. Potential to be special, only 18. Um, physical. Absolutely physical. Need to get that defensive awareness up a little bit more. But width pass, trickster, and acrobatic. Okay. Sterling Brown had a pretty good season. Up three to an 80. Five goals, eight assists. Um, he's got the pace. He's probably just about finished growing in that sort of area. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I think he could play a big part for us. Contrast potential to be special. Okay, there's another one that we'll want to develop. No play styles, unfortunately, but... Uh, could still be a solid little player. Felix Luna showing great potential. Well, that usually means it's time to sell. Uh, Barna out on loan up five to a 72. Coming along nicely. Mariotti showing great potential up four to a 71. I mean, you need a couple of these kind of players that can just sort of fill a bench role. Did okay. Um, may not have the, the biggest of growth, but we'll take it. Alvarez played his role. Uh, he's come back for a season. We'll see if he uh, gets through this window. And Ponza, only showing great potential, but Jesus, up one to an 83. 43 appearance, 38 assists in all competitions. That's bloody huge. And um, he's finished his growth at the moment, but hopefully he gets a dynamic potential, a little uh, boost. Thapa, up four to an 82. Exciting prospect, but 19 assists, six goals. Didn't feel like it kind of went missing in a lot of the fixtures so we'll see how that pans out nelson up five to a 66 nieto potential to be special up two to a 61 so he can get a loan spell traveller and press proven novak up four to a 70 on loan mikado potential to be special up one to a 71 yeah there's another one to come through the ranks it could be good power shot tiki taka traveller for a cam very nice maybe a loan we'll see what happens uh, Gillet up 4 to a 73 on loan. Dat Fong up 7 to a 78. We'll get these contracts sorted out as well, uh, probably at the start of next season. But 18 goals, 8 assists. It was big in the first half of the season in the cup games, but um, yeah, went a little bit quiet. Bowanga up 3 to an 84, 23 8. Okay. Acrobatic, press proven. Love the press proven. JJ Bronson, one of the world's best, up 5 to a 91. 61 goals, 8 assists in 46 appearances. Uh, he's just about, well, he has finished growth at the moment, but you'd feel after that season, surely something kicks in and he can get a bit more growth. Sanderson up 6 to a 73, 24 goals and 9 assists for the uh, young English striker. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely take that on board. Looks the goods and Kevin Vessel up. 4 to a 67. It's a 40 man squad. We will have a little bit of a clean out. We'll see what funds we've got. We need to bolster and, and see what is available for us. <clears throat> right then, let's have a look at uh, our transfer hub because these are all former Sutton players or Sutton players. Uh, Jensen 52. I mean, these guys aren't really going to help us out too much. They're aging and haven't really got too much growth. Uh, Archie Andrews there for Sutton. Uh, Keen Wood, I'm Gartner, Mensa 68. We probably need to look at the, the higher echelons. But uh, there could be a little diamond in the rough here. A couple of 18-year-olds. Pinto's at a 70. Paputus, 70. These guys aren't really going to help us too much. Um, I mean, Riddell's had some pretty decent growth, 71. But we probably need to look at 80 plus at least if we've got cash. Um, for players that we could develop into something. But we are going to need some sort of backup players as well. Uh, Darren Brockman up to a 74 for Sutton. 
Fox 74. Don't really need the strikers. Maposa 74. Shinji Enjo could be an option. 75 rated center back. Uh, 78 defensive awareness. Vikov at a 75. Baki 75. Sul Yassin 76. Martin 76. What are we looking for? Cook. Harold Cook, 77 rated, 85 pace. Uh, what's he got? Defensive awareness, 67. Nope. Mosa is up to a 77. Madova, Nascimento, 78 rated, central defensive midfielder. What's he got here? Defensive awareness, 82. Could be an option if we need to do something there. Beltang, 78. Jones, 78. Mekinen, Morton, 79 now. Okay. Farina, 79. Is he an option? Defensive awareness, 83. Okay. So there are some center backs floating around um, and goalkeepers as well if we want to replace them. 80 for Letsy now. What's he got? 67 defensive awareness. It's not good enough. Antwi, 85 defensive awareness. All right. There's a lad that we might. Only 5 foot 11. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Ivkovic, big boy. Could come in for Allen. We'll have to wait and see. Prammers at an 81. Thompson, Kruger, Malinowski an 82. Now, don't forget McLean's 88. So, um, to replace him, we'd have to have something pretty crazy. Tang at an 83. Labashang made the move. He went to Manchester City. I don't know if we need a cam to replace him. Ponce. Vanilla at an 83. He had a pretty good season for Burnley. But... Um, yeah, we'll see. Lazar, 83, is an option. Currently at Liverpool. Kawasaki, Ferdinand. Grimaldo, 84 now. Mori, 84. Okay, there's another goalkeeper. Only 70 in positioning, but we can develop that. Uh, Cadlitz, Auditore is an 86. Oh, I don't know how he fits into our team, but whether we have the money as well. And Wepo's at an 87, but can you dislodge in Ponza? I mean, and Wepo would be good. We know what he can do. Yeah, what else have we got here? Anyone else available? Not really. I think they're all. Keller Warren's at a 94. I mean, that'd be the pick at left back, but I just don't think we've got the cash to bring in Keller Warren. And that is it. Right, season objectives, use developments, long-term brand exposure. We didn't get the three clean sheets, that's for sure. Uh, we didn't reach the semi-final of the Europa. We did the uh, domestic success stuff, so that's very, very good. And we did the financial crucial priority objectives. So uh, hopefully the board nices us next season with a bit of cash to spend. Right, we start off the, the season with the Community Shield where we lost to Sutton 1-0. But we got redemption in the FA Cup with a 3-2 win, our first piece of silverware. Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United. We went out in the semis to Arsenal, um, and then they lost. Champions League, Sutton wins on penalties 4-3 over Juventus. So uh, they've doubled it up, back-to-back. -back. And in the Europa League, Leipzig beat Bayern Munich 4-3 on penalties. Uh, what did we go out in the round of 16 to Hoffenheim? We got slapped in the second leg. Wolves and Luton are coming up from the championship along with one of the sides from 3, 4, 5, and 6. And uh, let's see, Peterborough, Charlton, and Portsmouth have been relegated. League 1, Derby County, Sheffield Wednesday do well and relegated. Oxford, Swindon, Carlisle, Northampton. Doncaster, Colchester, and Crewe coming up. And then there's a playoff there, maybe Wrexham. And the worst team in England at the moment is the Tranmere Rovers. All right then, so... Sutton takes the league. Um, so what they do? A double there. Uh, we finish in sixth, so a little bit off the pace. We score 100 goals in the league, but we conceded 92. 92 goals. I mean, that is disgraceful. And that is what we need to fix next season if we want any chance of uh, pushing for Champions League. It's going to be a long, hard slog unless we can get some key recruits in here and ensure ourselves up defensively. But that's where we leave you today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. We will be back with a new season, some new kits, and ready to go again. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little 
extra step to help uh, you know the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.